so hello and welcome to this week's angling vlog this week you join me on a venue that a lot of people have been asking for in the comments for some time the venue behind me is the pond that you see me come and do the outros on the vlog from time to time you know where I just nip out put the outro together but in the background you can see the pond behind me so as you can see behind me the pond is in its autumn colors you can see all the leaves on the water the leaves have all left the trees now there are one or two fish topping and the hope today is to target maybe some roach if we're really lucky a bar of gold cruising but ultimately it's just about getting out on the bank on an old venue and getting a few bites it does hold a bit of history for myself as a kid me and my dad used to walk here and the pegs that you can see on the venue me and my dad when i was a kid actually put in with that it is a venue that does hold a lot to me every time i drive past it i remember those days going fishing with my dad where we'd walk to the venue and you really didn't know what you were going to catch so today is one of those days where the river is a complete mess every single one of them are raging through that is when i do turn to venues like this just to get a few bites on a saturday get out see if we can get a bite and hopefully put one or two fish on the bank so that is the peg that we're going to fish today I'm not expecting it to be the longest blog in the world you see nice comfy parking and a nice little walk to the peg I'm joined today by gary williams and mitzi from gary williams fishing and i'll put a link in the description below to his channel as you can see there one or two fish topping quickly over the setup i've got the dread and aqua elastic I've got a little small little cad pot on the end I've got a four by ten float and then i've got three number eight sticks going down the line just to get that slow drop on the bait as you can see the venue is gin clear it's two pound one ounce line and i've gone as light as i can with the hook link it's a one pound seven ounce hook link and i've got that down to a tiny size 20 hook so looking at the side tray you've got a couple of pints of white maggot far too much for today um we've got some pinky nice and simple side tray i'm going to start off on the pinky I'm just going to start off just feeding a tiny little pinch of pinky like that i'm just going over the top that cad pot's going to allow me to be really accurate with the feeding but I'm just going to take it nice and easy so it's taken probably about 10 minutes to get the first bite just dropping those pinkies in and then going over the top of that rig but we made about three casts and what a lovely little start one of those roach and there are some quality ones in here in summer it is covered in weed like thick so it does have a good survival rate you know from the cormorants and stuff but that's a lovely start to the session and just coming on that single pinky on that size 20 hook dropping them pinkies over the top and there we go second bite of the day so a nice little start to the session fish number two you can see them leaves in the net as well just falling on the pool we're just taking it nice and easy just dropping a little bit more of that pinky in and just dropping the rig over the top and say so not putting loads of bait in because obviously it's not a big pool there we go there's the next bite and lovely little start to the session most definitely they say on days like today you just hope to get them first couple of bites and look at the lovely colors on that it's what you get with these clear water venues you've got almost copper in its head that orange eye fish number three and on a saturday morning where the rivers are the mess it's doing a job isn't it just getting a few bites certainly a nice start it's another roach i should have brought some hemp with me really <laughs> might have been a mistake and that again got those lovely colors that you associate with this pond so just into the first better one of the session so you've got a bit of elastic coming out I say with these type of venues you just never really know could be a crewy could be a nice roach be a, a big perch and that's the magic that it always had as a kid and what a beautiful fish that is a bar of feisty winter gold and it is a venue that does defy the odds it's a fish that i associate with spring and summer but over the years i've come on here with ice on the venue and caught these it's a beautiful fish and see look at them lovely colors so i had just gone a little quiet after that crewy just struck into what i think is another one it's got that jagged fight of them 
yeah you can just tell with the crewies it's that thudding on the elastic but tiny tiny little dinks on the float second one of the session and god knows how old the strain is in here and say the story is that it was a a cart pond for the monks and the monastery that is just over that wall over there and if anyone's done any cruising fishing you'll know that bite where the float doesn't even move you lift and there's a fish on they are notorious for just holding the bait in the mouth and these little guys can drive you mad at times especially when they're being finicky you can say the float didn't even move so just had a nice crewy come off but the beauty of these fish is when they do move in there's normally a couple of them and that's just another one of those beautiful little crewies and doesn't that just look perfect amongst them leaves we are well into november now and the leaves are still falling just showing how mild it's been but today the fish are cold most definitely and there is that nip in the air that's a lovely little cruising growing up as a kid on the bridgewater canal we used to fish a little whip that you still see me use on the channel but because of that fishing close in mr perch was one of the fish that i caught a lot of does always take me back with the crewies to catching them perch with me dad on the canal i've just tucked into the best fish of the session by far i don't know what it is it's <laughs> definitely got the elastic out and yeah it's one of them where you just want to take your time but at the same time you want to see what it is because in these type of ponds it can be absolutely anything here we go what a lovely little fish that is a great battle on the pole and the fish of the day so far most definitely it's been a cold day and we've done what we've come for we've got plenty of bites on a venue that takes me right back to my childhood most definitely the old fingertips are freezing so i'm not going to keep it out too long and we'll get it straight back So into the afternoon and the weather's definitely changing as you can see grey skies moved in it's around about two o'clock and this is what's been happening of late especially on the river ribble where it's been quite flat calm in the morning and then a lot of rain in the afternoon and the season's most definitely changing we're definitely moving into that winter period now you can feel it on your hands as you can see there a bit red raw a bit cool today's been a really nice day on the bank we've had some really nice fish and yeah that coming near the end of the session cold in the hand most definitely so it's been a day where just feeding enough bait to get bites has been the way to go just drip feeding five or six maggots in each time and towards the end of the session like you've just seen there's a few of these better roach turning up which is great to see in the pool and what a lovely roach to end the session on what we'll do now is we'll take a look at that final net and see how we've got on has been an enjoyable day on the bank for sure with great company so the session does come to an end there now and what an enjoyable session that's been this venue behind me is a venue that i've come to over the years a venue where it all started for me as a kid you know going the bridgewater canal and then walking to here with my dad a places that i've come all the way through my life and still enjoy coming back to today hopefully it's a venue next year maybe we might bring joshua on for a bit of fishing because he has started to come along on some of the adventures now it's been great to come back to this venue and also bring gary and mitzi along as well for a bit of fishing so yeah it's been good fishing and great company as you can see on screen now we've had plenty of bites those crusions, you know, the jewels in the net and some quality roach as well. So I really do hope you have enjoyed this week's blog. It'd be great if you could like and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines in your own fishing and I'll catch you all next week. Tight lines.